feel the way you played this weekend to you know, get rewarded for your effort? No, it feels good. Uh, you know, I just stuck with doing the little things right, and you know, I came into fruition you know, this weekend. Just you know, kept going to the net hard. I mean, all the goals were just right in front of the net, right in the crease area. So just gonna keep doing that, and you know, I mean, plenty of games left, and just keep it, keep it going here. You know what? Yeah, for sure. You know, I think it just starts with confidence. Um, you know, just building that confidence layer by layer, brick by brick, and you know, especially with you know the first eight games, like you know, I mean, wasn't really getting rewarded in those ways, and you know, now kind of getting rewarded for doing the little things and everything like that. So, you know, can't stress that enough. Just keep doing those things, and you know, overall performance will you know follow. Has there been an adjustment for you coming into the team and how kind of those guys? Yeah. For sure, you know, um, you know, being an older guy here, uh, it's it's all it's, I mean, great group, great group, you know, great leadership here too. Um, you know, there was a little bit of an adjustment. Uh, I came in playing center, um, and I moved to the wing a little bit, so back to you know my position I was playing, and that's it. Just you know, keeping it simple on the on the wall and getting rewarded for it. So, Jordan, what's kind of what did you kind of notice? Yeah, I think it's our ability to play, you know, full three periods. And we have our, our hitches here and there, but, like, that consistency and, you know, that relentless list, we get a goal, you know, we keep going, we're up, and just the fact that we're not relying on that and we're still pushing. And um, it's really important for our team because we're a younger group. Um, and just see that kind of maturity come along and playing the right way is really good. Is that pretty much how you throw it up, that goal that did you practice that? Yeah, I practice it usually every day after practice. Um, though I, I honestly didn't even see where it went myself. And then I looked down and it was in the net. And I was like, wow. Um, but yeah, I practice it sometimes after, after you, practice. You see them on the red line after <laughs> practice. <laughs> but there's no goalie in there. That's the thing. It's the empty netters. So. But that speaks to, in all seriousness, that yes, that's why you, you do want to just throw it on net. See what happens. Yeah, exactly. And I've been trying to shoot it more, and you never know what can happen. A rebound or, or a lucky bounce. You never know what can happen. You know, when you see Jaden last weekend throw it from the red line, it goes into that. You know, <laughs> give you a little more confidence when you're shooting that. Yeah, we were joking on the bench. I was like, why is everyone scoring for the blue line <laughs> or the red line? Um, and then last night, Struves, he'd go to dump it and rip it on that, like you saw a couple of times. So it might be a team thing now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just have to shoot it from the red line. <laughs> How much confidence has it been uh, for you guys with Devin and Ned working back to play together? Huge. It's like, and any time you you, um, you have a goaltender like that, it's you know it kind of gives the group as a whole more confidence. And he saved us, I mean, countless times, and and he deserves, I mean, everything that he gets. He he works his butt off. Um, every single day, so it's, it's, I mean, it's huge having him back there. Especially, you know, him performing in all those different situations, you know, whether it's PK, power play, five on five, you know, last minute of the game, last minute period, you know, he brings it his all every, you know, every shift, like every time he's on the ice, and, you know, it's incredible just the, the focus that go, he goes through before games, it's insane. I also think it, it makes people want to compete harder, you know, if, if Dev's saving your butt on a backdoor shot, you're like, man, like I need a, this kid saving us. I need to step it up a little bit. So um, it's given us a little more energy. For sure, and like momentum, right? There's there's tons of momentum swings during a game, and obviously when your goalie makes a huge save like that, it just gives the confidence all the way down the line on the bench, and you know everyone wants, you know, feels that energy, and we just build off it. So it's been huge for us. <clears throat> You know what? It's the preparation that before the games too. Um, I mean, our coach Glocks, he puts in timeless effort. You know, I mean, we do video yesterday, today, 
of you know what they changed, everything like that. So it's it all started with preparation before the game and uh, execution during the game. Um, obviously, we had some huge saves with Dev and some big blocks with uh, some other defensemen and forwards. But I think it all started with just you know preparation beforehand. I agree, and then again, it, it gives us you know the bench feeds off of that. You see guys going out blocking shots and, and, and laying their bodies on the line and, and getting with sticks on pucks. And it's those little things um, that everyone feeds off of. And it's really important for us, yeah, again. And, and Coach McLaughlin's been doing a great job on that. And, and everyone's buying in. You know, everyone's watching video and, and practicing hard. Yeah, proud of the effort, um, you know, to sweep uh, against a good UNH team. That's, that's big for our group. Um, starting to win different ways. You know, uh, not sure that we put a full 60 together, but I thought we did learn from the first period. We came out and had one of our best periods of the year in the second to get that lead. So, um, you know, we're getting different contributions from other guys, the whole team really, and um, which is huge. And, you know, when you can make an impact and win, whether or not you score or not, but you're making an impact for your teammates and um, you're finding ways to win. That's big for our team. Yeah, Coach, um, you know, at the beginning of the year when we were talking, you mentioned how there's a bunch of guys who have been playing well but just haven't been rewarded. Obviously, Yaka gets going this weekend. Ryan also got his first goal last night. You know, what's it like to just have everyone out there contributing when they're on the ice? Yeah, well, I think we are a balanced team. I think we have a lot of depth, so I, I do think it was a matter of time. I mean, you look at a guy like Dylan Jackson right now that's looking for his first one and it's a matter of time. I mean, Dylan scored his whole life. He's going to score a lot here at Northeastern. There's no question in my mind. So, um, but that, that's a good thing, you know, because I, I did say when, when we get hot and we all get hot at the right time, um, we're going to be a real dangerous team. So it's good to see, um, you know, everybody starting to contribute on the scoreboard, on the score sheet. It's been the To be honest, the biggest thing is just confidence. I think when the first one went in, probably a huge weight lifted from his shoulders. Um, you know, he was playing hard before. He was playing well before. They just weren't going in. Um, probably putting a little bit of pressure on himself to score. And then once you get one, when you're a goal scorer, usually, you know, you, you become a, you're streaky. And that's what goal scorers do. So, um, again, good for him because he stuck to it. He's working his butt off, and he's been an unbelievable teammate and leader for this group. Um, so. Um, you know, when he starts to score, you know, he's feeling better about himself. And you can see now four goals in two games. So uh, really happy for the kid. He earned it. Coach, you mentioned that second period you thought was the, one of the best periods of the year. What did you see that changed so drastically from the first period and you did really well in the second? Oh, I thought our feet were moving more. I didn't, I didn't think our feet were moving early in the game. Uh, we were watching a little bit. I give Kurt and UNH credit. They came out hard. Again, we talk about it. You win on Friday night, you know the team's going to respond um, the next night, and UNH did. I thought UNH played a good game tonight. Um, but I thought the second period we started to, uh, our line, line changes were better. We were getting on top of pucks better. Um, we, were, we were sustaining our forecheck better. Um, so that, that was big, and I just thought we kind of got everybody rolling there, and um, we were able to kind of open up the game a little bit in the second period. Jerry? a little uh, discouraged after the UConn game. Um, you know, were, were there any tweaks? Or did, did, was there anything different? Any adjustments uh, since then? Um, no, I, th I think it's just just about our, our team learning how hard you have to play all the time. You know, and in that UConn game, I, I didn't think we had everybody going that night, and, and you know, we had a good start to the game, and then and then we kind of fell asleep for a little bit, and and. You know, that's kind of a learning curve for this group that you have to be on all the time. And, you know, last night, if you look at the UNH game, um, you know, we, we were playing pretty well. We had a two to one lead going into the third and then we get a, you know, we go four on three and that's a big part in that game. Uh, we were able to get the kill, but it just shows you how tight games are and, you know, big plays can, can change the momentum in a game. So. Um, yeah, it was a learning curve for us. I don't think we're still there, to be honest with you. I, I do see pieces of it coming together. I just think there's a lot better hockey still for this group. And on that note, you got Harvard coming in Monday because Andy Toss, the way they were playing, yeah. Yeah. 
Harvard's Harvard's a really good team. Obviously, they're off to a good start. They've got a ton of talent on that team. Uh, they got a great power play. Um, they're going to be dangerous. So we got to make sure that we're uh, we're prepared and you know that we're um, we're ready to go from the opening face off. It's not a team that you want to fall behind against. So um, yeah, they present some challenges, but at the same time, we you know we got to make sure that we're playing to our identity and, and uh, we're focused on our group.